I'm gonna, I'm gonna someday I'm gonna harmonize it. That's the way it's gonna work. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, uh, welcome, Arvinots again. Welcome to a Tuesday night stream, and you know what that means. If it's Tuesday night and you're feeling all right, that means it's time for some our vocalists. And uh, we are back with the our vocalists, uh, and I'm back with a special guest as part of the our vocalists as we play a game. And full tip of the hat to Dot for this called Purgatory. It is uh, not as scary as it sounds. It is apparently very lighthearted and a lot about cats. So you're going to find out more about that as we voice over things. Before we go any further, I'm not going to go through this too much because you already heard this earlier today. But you know the drill. Please support the channel by following, checking out the YouTube with exclamation point R of tube, Discord with exclamation point R of cord, Twitter with exclamation point R of tweets, website rvanellaron.com, exclamation point R of shop for the merchandise area, exclamation point R of treon for the Patreon. Please sub to the channel. On the publishing side, exclamation point Icarus for my graphic novel from Mathis Arts, exclamation point library for tales and tomes, the forbidden library, and exclamation point most important of all gray shade ks i'm very pleased because you will notice that we have gotten to 111 backers 8195 we had a big charge late in the day which i'm very excited about and hopefully we continue to build that even further over the course of tonight's session so that was very very encouraging and i'm hoping that that continues so before we go any further uh just a couple of mentions about schedule we will be on tonight until about 11 30 p.m eastern roughly speaking then we're going to be moving on uh to uh um, then we're going to be uh, off tomorrow and off Thursday, and we'll be back on Friday with D&D with viewers. So you'll definitely want to be here for that because that is going to be D&D with viewers into the unknown. And on Saturday, if all goes well, I'm getting this confirmed, we will have a session zero for Expedition from the Mysterious Peaks. Now, I will not have the video and all the overlay and all that cool stuff set yet, but it's a session zero during which we're going to talk a little bit about the world and about character creation, and we're going to do so with all of our players, including introducing a new player. That's right, chat. A new player who has not previously been featured on this channel will be joining us on hopefully on Saturday, assuming I have this all locked in, for Expedition from the Mysterious Peaks, which is sponsored, as always, by Alligator Alley Entertainment. So that's very exciting. But today, we have a special guest in addition to everything else. So I'm going to unmute myself so the folks know we are ready to go and apologize for interrupting them if they were talking to each other. And then I'm going to unmute them. And last but certainly not least, uh, not that one, uh, last but certainly not least, I am going to head over to reveal... The people before you. Now, as you can see, as you can see, some of these people will be familiar to you. Um, <laughs> you will note some of them will be familiar to you. And then there is one person in particular who is familiar to you, but not in this context. So I will begin. Yes, you'll, you'll be introduced in just a moment. So I will begin by introducing um the um yes that is correct trifid mysterious peaks is going to now from now on is going to be on saturday evenings instead of fridays uh that's for a variety of reasons and so our b saturday is going to be our big flagship tabletop games between expedition for the mysterious peaks and um also eberron so those are going to be on saturdays uh but there will still be aime on tuesday and all that other kind of stuff so um, so we have duplicates, a different kind of duplicate though. So first of all, I want to say hi to, uh, an awesome person, um, who is actually responsible for this game that we're about to play. So, uh, big ups to her. And that of course is little red dot who is with us and is here. Um, and I feel very fortunate about that because, um, dot is now the hugely popular. <laughs> this is the, ne I mean, already is the big thing, but is the next bigger thing, even on top of that, you know, with yeah. Cobalt press and with like, yeah, just... it'd be super cool if my bank account reflected that. No, no, no. This is just about the love. <laughs> Word. The exposure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the exposure is so good. Uh -huh. Um, That's how all that doing, counts. How's, how's life in the universe with you? It's good to see you. Um, I'm how really you been? good. I'm really good, B busy, but that usually that tends to be my usual answer. So if I ever come on the show and I tell you I'm not busy, y'all check up on me because uh, <laughs> that means that God? it's not yeah it's not the norm. Yeah, something's wrong. Um, yeah, no, I'm glad to be back. Excited for the show. I know we've had some time off, and uh, 
the show's always a little bit of like a shake off from my usual routine, which is a nice break. So it's going to be good, and especially, um, yeah, this is going to be with some some different people involved. It's going to be good. Um, I, I am very excited to have Dot with us. Uh, Russ continues to not be with us because of having three small children and having no one to spell him. He hopes he will be able to join again when things ease up a little bit, but in the meantime, he is not with us, and so that means I move right on down the line to someone who should be familiar with this channel, who previously played uh, Cosmoritis, but that campaign is now finished, but not Expedition for the Mysterious Peaks, which will launch very soon. As I said, hopefully Session Zero on Saturday. That is one Mr. Zach Clay, who is a massive expert in all things math. We were just talking about how important math is in music. Oh, yeah. And how critically important. This is not at all what we were talking about. Um, <laughs> Zach, it's good to see you, man. How you doing? How's, how's life with you and all that kind of stuff? Uh, I'm great. Life is good. Been playing uh, some music on my keyboard. Trying Still trying to get my bigger uh, mallet cat fixed, getting ready for a big trip uh, in a couple months and uh, working on an album and running lots of D&D. &D, and that's about it. So I'm happy to be here and ready to face judgment in purgatory. Judgment in purgatory. And yes, yes. I see Garlic Tofu is here. Garlic's had to pass on the Torment game that we've been playing because it's not good for her brain. I totally get that. Planescape hey. Torment is definitely... It's a little rough. Look, um, look it, I mean, it's called to Planescape Torment. It's in the title. But today we've got something totally different. Totally you. different. There's no torment. It's just purgatory. It's Hi, just Mrs. purgatory, Dunsel. yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Dunsell, by the way, your package has been mailed, so it is winging its way to you now. So hopefully that's going to the right spot. Um, so Rob is not going to be joining us today. Rob has been super overwhelmed and busy. So um, Rob has taken a step back for a little bit. So today I thought it's the summertime. My kid is amazing and uh, she has done this stuff before with us. And besides, we have a more lighthearted thing that we can do today. And so I am pleased to introduce for the first time ever with her own title her own name right here mm -hmm. that's and square mean right there my daughter of course who is super amazing and awesome um that and takes up one fourth of the frame but that is <laughs> <laughs> there's not a, look at where i have on this i have to be over leaned over well, as it is but if i do also, that it's not going to show you see look at that see if i do this then you're even less oh. visible Dad, I need to get my own setup like you would have <laughs> You need to do the it seed has been planted. That would be the next step. I know, I know. I didn't know that was the thing that I was known for. Cedavine is the iconic creepy princess preach from Paper Mario. That's that's quite true. <laughs> that is quite true. And we thought about Paper Mario tonight. But um, no, I'm very happy to have my daughter with me. Are you excited for, for this yes. event? Yes. She is excited. Um, and, I haven't uh, done voice acting in a while. So. It's going to be great. Listen, um, and, and she is going to be with us. Now, I want to say one other thing, chat, which is that um, we do have one little thing on offer because she is here, and that is... Yes. Um, and I gotta actually, I realize I gotta put this up there quickly. So, also, you um, you, fine. you can still call her Little R, but we, we wanted to give her the full name here uh, that I, she has. Ah, this is what I wanted. But. Okay, this is sorry, this is what you wanted to do. So, sorry about that. I forgot that I haven't added it to this page yet. There we go. So, what you can see there, chat, is a total amount. Now, we had a good charge here, uh, where we are now dealing with 81. 95 on the Kickstarter, which is great. That means we had a good later charge. So I'm excited about that. However, we obviously are still got to keep onward and upward and keep on pushing. So what I would appreciate is if people are able to do so, um, supporting the Kickstarter with exclamation point gray shade KS, going over there and supporting it and spreading the word with hashtag gray assassin would be appreciated. And what I will say is that if people are able to do that, if we hit tonight, I think 8,300 is a good number. If we hit 8,300 and two more backers, so 113 and 8,300, then my daughter will at that point do a custom drawing. So she will do a drawing for the person who, and she wanted to do, contributes the most um, to this. But I think we can, you know, basically the person who backs at the highest level during the course of our hour and a half together here, um, we she will give a custom drawing if we get to 8,300, which and is, and they can choose what it is. So that's going to be 105. So um, that's the deal. And it's, uh, that's going to be 113 backers and 8,300. That is what we're looking at. Exclamation point gray shade KS for that as we continue to push forward. Now, with all that said, Said, this game is something which Dot found, um, and it. She was like, "It just looks incredibly cute," and I'm like, "It's about people who were in purgatory." And she's like, "Yeah, but also though, 
But cats. <laughs> but also cats. <laughs> and so what we have here is this game. And you can even listen to the music chat. Like, it's right up my alley. Jack, can you hear that? Perfect. Can can chat hear that? Can everybody? Can you hear that, Chad? Chad, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just unmuted the stream and I can hear it, yeah. Okay, purgatory isn't bad, it's just the waiting room. Lol. Okay, good, everyone can hear it. All right, I have never played this before, um, but it's supposedly a lot of fun and super cute, so. And it has alternate endings, we found out. Alternate endings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The camping game? That game, I still think about that game. game was good. I want y'all to know that. I still think about that game. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit. But the DLC, though, the DLC with the two guys was the best. <laughs> yeah. Like that, yeah, it was, that was, it was really great. That yeah, was really great. Like, side love. I was all yeah. Like, yeah, it was totally yeah. good. All right, let's do this, people. Purgatory, let's make it happen. Uh, Welcome. Um, okay, so I guess I'm... The, this will be interesting. Hello? Uh, receptionist. Okay, let's start with my daughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Dear, dear, and fill out this form. Thank you. Um, I, I don't remember how I got here. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I need you to sign on this dotted line here. Receptionist hands you a pen and a clipboard. Uh, <laughs> purgatory <laughs> spelled wrong. <laughs> Um, pur purgatory is spelled wrong here. No, it's not. <laughs> See, there's there's two R's. There should be only only be one. I'm telling you what, dear, you can go. You can go and get a degree in demon resources management. Then you can come back and tell me how to do my job. Ooh, sassy. Sheesh, never mm -hmm. mind. What if I don't sign? What if I refuse to sign this? always make a room for you downstairs if you'd rather <laughs> now hurry up dear we don't oh have i don't think you can time. carry your way out yeah seriously i'll sign my name sign your name uh yeah actually since i'm playing you why don't you the narrator for the moment zach please you pick up the pen to write your name uh oh cool oh that's nice no let's see do double R's. Aveleron. <laughs> Our vanilla runs act dot Actually, well, you know what? Instead of doing Arvanella, how about I do this? Arvzak dot Cenovine. Uh, Arvz dot. Arvz. And we are literally a they them because that's like true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> what custom? Okay, all right, here we go. Yeah, custom like uh, pronouns, I think. Yep. Arvzak dot Senevin, wonderful. <laughs> you filed away with the others. The receptionist takes your documents and opens a filing cabinet. Let's see. Your number eight. Oh dear, that's over capacity. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Just a. Oh, I don't remember. Clerical. <laughs> a clerical error. Nothing to worry your little head about. Listen, lady, first of all, it's heads, okay? There's multiple. We are legion. All right. <laughs> Why don't you head on into the portal? I've got to take this to the ma man downstairs. Wait, wait. I, I have so many questions. All right, dear. I'll make time for one, but then I really have to go. Um... Who am I? <laughs> I am many. Who am I? <laughs> exactly. Um, where am I? Who are you? Let's. Who am I? Who are those I don't care who you are. Where am I? Where am I? Sticks. It's the it's the underground, the river of the underground, oh. in classic uh, literature. I see. Classic old literature. That's the, the guy you give the coin sticks, to. Of course. Yeah. Oh. Office sticks. What happened to the river? <laughs> built a bridge over it. Then we built an office building on the bridge. Oh, y'all. The ferry was great for show, but the 
<laughs> Throughput. It was just terrible. <laughs> Take care now. Y'all, Karen lost his job. Can we just talk about that? That's Seriously. what they, that woman was like. Sorry, we built a bridge over it. Gentrification. You know, the ferryman just lost his ferrying job. The receptionist starts walking away. We, you can't hear us that well, really. Mm -hmm. okay. I guess us. I guess us telling you to turn your game turn down, down is not a good idea. I guess yeah, they you didn't. can boost it a little bit for sure. Got, yeah, and then yeah, How's somebody that? That go even can go higher than you. You may just want to eat your mic a little bit. So yeah, so is it first of all, chat? Am I now more audible? I should be, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm much more audible. Okay, so Do now. I need to be louder? Hey, that's like... it, that's that better. Is yeah. Perfect. Great. That is perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's I love right how this whole point. time the receptionist has been walking away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a very slow Total. crawl. She seems busy. It's a filing cabinet. Welcome. <laughs> Undertale. Some paper or something. Water. <laughs> it's important to stay hydrated. Chat. A picture frame. Are you still here? <laughs> mm-hmm. A really old computer. A mouse. This potted plant is obviously dead. The receptionist's chair. <laughs> she seems bitty. Now someone in chat just has to get all of these separate little phrases that I've said and make it into a, like, cut it into a sentence. Yeah, exactly. The receptionist's chair. Water in the portal. You take and a deep breath. It's important. <laughs> yes. You take a deep breath and step into the portal. Background. I don't know what those are. I just welcome to purgatory. purgatory. Okay. What a warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Lucifer was, was here. Was fur. was here. Oh, can you draw them all? Oh, can I? Uh... I, think, I just think you saw you make one. I would like it to say our whole name was here. Yeah, that's true, actually. I wonder... Mm. I guess you can't go back. Damn it. Or maybe... Commons. Okay, uh... Looks like someone's taken a bite out of this sign. I think it says hell. It says hell. It says hell. <laughs> Let's see, do I have items? We have no, no items. items. To do. We have no to do. We're Ellipsis. Just, we're just here. No. Stairs. Lucifer was here. Oh. No, I can't draw. Oh, weird. All right, so we don't want to go to hell. Well, wait. That okay? Well, so that that's... was obviously this way. We don't want to go oh, to hell. Oh, you're right. You're right. Go to the commons. That looks bad too. But it's not hell. Some rubble. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> All right. Um. Hello. Okay, Dot, I think this is you. I don't know who this Praise is, though. Me. Hey! <laughs> You're new. Yep. <laughs> I'm Arvzek.Setavine. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Kyung Soon. Nice to meet you, Kyung Soon. Nice to oh, that's your line. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come back. Sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cat. Sure is. Uh. Sits back down. <laughs> I just love the jump cut to him. <laughs> just, just, sitting just, down. Just back down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lamp. Okay. Enlightening. <laughs> oh, uh, uh Oh, just a brup. <gasps> Brilliant six, idea, Senavine. It's a good idea. It's busy. Mm. Yeah, that seems right. All right, let's see. Uh, eight six seven five three zero nine. Oh yeah. Okay. What? Eight six seven. seven. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, six <laughs> seven, seven five, five three zero oh, nine. I got it. I got it. I got it. A business don't. <laughs> Ricky, don't lose that number. Okay. Um, Cinevine and I are lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> too young. You're too yeah, young. Yeah, seriously, too yeah. young. <laughs> Do you know that eight six seven five three zero nine has officially been added to the list of phone numbers that nobody can ever own? Is that really true? I mean, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking of us. Injury totals eight hundred eight 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 eight. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Eight hundred eight 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 million. No, wait, call eight. Okay, yeah, so here we go. You have any busy house, busy the toll line to hell is going to be. Well, that's true. Uh, let's see. So what's another good one? Um, oh, um, 911. Do you dare? Uh-oh. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Okay, uh, Should go I ahead. Be um, all right, or dot. S- dot on this or one. Or Okay. 911, what's your emergency? Um, he- hello. I'm stuck in purgatory. Sorry, you're stuck where? Purgatory. With with two R's. Uh, are you calling to report an emergency? I'm calling yes. to report an emergency. Well, no, I guess not. <laughs> they hang up. <laughs> uh, history, I think... It's just showing you what things you input before, Mrs. Dunsell. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which is a really great accessibility thing, by the way, because some people don't yes. read very quickly. I, yes. That's that's very cool. Super uh, slick. I agree. Game. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I'm going to put in my old number chat from way back when I was at 60693. I still remember. I grew up with this number like when I was eight. All right. Nope. Doesn't work anymore. The time paradox has begun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Somewhere, oh, you at 10 years old. Can do the thing. Hello? I don't know if any of you did this as kids, but I still do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The door is... Oh, sorry. Zach. The door is... That's my line. I'm the narrator. <laughs> the door is locked. Wonder where the key is. Kyung Soon! That's a cat. <laughs> sure is. Thanks, Kyung Soon. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It says, leave her alone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How do you open this door? Hey, do you know how to unlock that door? Yep. How? You use the key. What key? The one that I have. (laughs) Oh, can, can I have it? No. Why not? I ate it. (laughs) <laughs> okay. <then. Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> just, and watch. Oh, like, okay. like, yeah. you, <laughs> like you actually ate it? Yeah. Why? I was hungry. That's a good argument. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. The jump cut is hilarious. You get it in three days. It's fine. Uh, Sorry, Dot. That, I'm trying. That, that, that's a cat. Sure is. Oh, never mind. All right. So, mm-hmm. get the key. All right. What about that door there? To, oh, there you go. Which one? It's, oh, oh, that takes you to the... That's where, where we that? came from, was here. Okay. Yeah, the other way, then. What? Go the other way. Yeah, here. Doors. Yeah, I know now. I know. Uh, oh. It says, Purgatory Poetry Slam. Nice. Someone dropped a poem here. Hell yes. There are no toilets in Purgatory... By Sean the Snake. Yeah, lay it on a sec. There are no toilets in Purgatory. I've checked everywhere. I'm Shurgatory. Not a urinal in sight. No Surgatory. Also, turns out nothing really rhymes with Purgatory. <laughs> genius. Absolute <laughs> genius. This chair has seen better days. Done on an etch a sketch. I think basically Stalio. A chair. A chair. I don't know why we're not like. Why are we surprised when it's it's a chair? Yeah, a mat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Uh, Innovation. What is that? A loose tack. Can I take the loose. That's just tacky. Can I take it? Take the tack. Take it. Uh, Maybe tack. you can pick the door with it. Yeah. Exactly. So far, I haven't picked up any items. Pick the could've. door with a thumbtack. All right. I mean. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, 
let's see. So this one, okay, Zach's been doing the narrator. Send him to do it. Let, okay, so send him in, yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, hello. You must be new. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Oliver, and I'm the librarian here. I already, lo I already love Oliver. <laughs> hey, I'm Arvzak.Senevine. <laughs> um, nice to meet you. And you as well. <laughs> anyway, feel free to browse around. Just let me know if you find something you'd like to check out. <laughs> Spiratory, sure is gory, regorgatory. <laughs> Chat's <laughs> trying. <laughs> Will do. Uh, I want to talk to you. Okay. Oh, man. I can't reach it. <laughs> you grab a book from the shelves. It's just the word meow over and over. Of course it is. Oh, I forgot to mention. Our collection is a bit, um, specialized. I see. Maybe you should try a different book. As soon as I Guess saw, what? As soon as I saw Oliver. This book is exactly the same as the other one. You, yeah. <laughs> you read another one of the books. Okay. You read another one of the books. We get the idea. All right. Whoa. Uh, so much knowledge. The knowledge. knowledge the depth. The doors. Oh. Whoa. Um. The beast oh. You read another one of the books. Okay. A lamp. Can I go mm. up the... Oh, there's a door there. Ooh, all right. That's Michelangelo's David. I love the exclamation point. Something looks a bit off. Yeah, the fact that he has horns for one thing. Mm. Or in that tail. An or... infinity sign. Oh, sorry, yes, cat ears. That's quite right. Infinity sign. Well, that's a little on the nose. Uh... Seems to be jammed or something. Hmm, okay. You just throw the I already know that's that. Michelangelo's David. Yeah. So, uh, okay, I already did that. <clears throat> what if I look behind me? Aha! Uh, uh, he. A magnifying glass. What's that? A pencil. Okay. These are all full of meows, too. This is a little bit <laughs> like actual research. <laughs> hey, what's up? Shadow has arrived. All right, hey, Shadow. Um, some papers covered with notes. Okay. Oh, sorry, some sorry. papers covered with notes. Some papers <laughs> covered with notes. These are all full of meows, too. Okay. Those are also all full of meows. These tiny spheres are lamps. This also reminds me of a game called Paper... Oh. Or are they? Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, they are. This reminds me of a game called Paper Sorcerer that I played way back in the day on the channel. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. Wait. Oh, that's a doorway. Oh. We just teleport. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what? All right, I already did that already. Uh, okay. Hmm. I just want to know why they have a doorway. Okay, that was the door to that. All right, that's... All right, do you have anything else to say about the library, Kyung Soon? Th that's a cat. <laughs> sure is. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, never mind. All right, well, He's the only other option. Sit here until you figure it out. He, he, they did say go talk to the man downstairs. That was the instructions given by the old lady at the beginning. I thought she said that she oh. would have to talk to. Oh, oh, she would have to talk to the man downstairs, didn't she say? Oh, I, I thought she said yes, if we didn't want to sign to go <laughs> to talk to the guy downstairs. I thought she said to go talk. Maybe I'm wrong. But Maybe. I said, don't know. She said that if you don't sign, you have to go talk to him. And that she has to go talk to him. We did him. sign. Mm -hmm. I mean, I might as well go down this way because this is the... No, it's up. Oh, or well, is then. it down? <laughs> it's a draw. <laughs> of course it is. Someone counted to 21 here. Okay. Oh, the stairs are coming. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> All aboard the crossing of the bridge. You should probably leave that alone for now. I'll do that game. Oh, wait. All right, um. 
No, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I will do what I want. All right. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to come here yet. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Here. Someone should fix this ceiling. It's true. All right, so we come here. Maybe after I go, then I talk to, then I talk to uh, Oliver, and be like, "Hey." I still can't reach the book. Here we go. So, um, are are all the books like this? Well, <clears throat> yes, I'm afraid so. At least as far as I know. I haven't cataloged the entire collection yet, so there could be some hidden gems in there. <laughs> Catalog. Aha, yes. I am cataloging the library. Take a look. I hit 15,000 entries yesterday. Ma'am, what a data entry that was. Seriously. Oliver ah. shows you the catalog. I don't need sleep. By my estimate, that's about 2% of the books in the library. So a lot of work to be done. Wow. That's the amount that we'd like the Kickstarter to hit. And speaking of that, <laughs> exclamation point, Grayshade KS for more details about the Grayshade yes. Kickstarter. Oh, wow. It's just you turn to the key like this. If you don't mind me asking, what are you looking for exactly? Well, you see, I like to imagine that there's a pattern. Some sort of rhyme or reason, a scheme that explains what all of this nonsense means. After all, even a code of one word is a code that can be broken. A language is just begging to be understood. Skeptical glance. I you, can you glance skeptically at the bookshelves. Um, good luck with that. <laughs> well, I'll certainly need it. And then throws himself into the books. <laughs> and it sounds pretty silly. Um, forget I said anything. Aw, poor Oliver. Anyway, did you find anything you'd like to check out? No, no, <laughs> no, absolutely yes. not. Yes, yes. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, uh, no. This book. Uh. Yes, please. Can I check out this one? Oh, wonderful. Let me just make a note in the catalog. I'll admit, I didn't actually expect you to. Never mind that. <laughs> Let me see. Where did I put my stamp? Okay, forgot the stamp. I'll just write down the due date. Which is... Well, we don't really have dates down here, do we? Uh, <laughs> just try to make it back eventually, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Oliver writes due date eternity on a slip of paper and tucks it into the book. Sorry about all that. Uh, enjoy your book. Thanks. All right, we finally have an item. I still can't reach that book. The, maybe we give this to uh, Kyung Soon, mm -hmm. and then Kyung Soon's like, great, and then oh. it's meows all the way through. And then I don't know. Then question mark profit. I'm not sure where we go after that. But <laughs> all right, Kyung Soon. I have an item for you. Ahaha! Ah Young Soon eyes your book as you approach. Hell yes. Is that a book? No. It's a cat! Sorry. Yep. Can I have some? Have oh, some? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say yes, say yes. Say yes. yes. Uh, sure. Here you go. Kyung Soon starts tearing out the pages with her teeth. Is that good? Uh, better than nothing. That's fair. Uh, Oliver never lets me have books, you know? Even though he has like a million. Pretty rude, huh? I don't want you to eat them. Probably because you're <laughs> weird. Maybe he's... Booked. Nah, nah, ah. Oh, no, you did not. You did. Got him. Dad, we're gonna get the key. And just... Get it? That's it. I'm not, I'm not pooping this key out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, what kind of crap is that? Um, 
I thought hyenas no, were supposed no, to laugh. No, that, that's, that's like, specious. <laughs> I thought hyenas were supposed to laugh. I, I thought, I thought jokes were supposed to be wow. laughing. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> Kyung Soon nom, munches nom. on the book. Nom, 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 nom. Are you enjoying that? It's alright. It's the most interesting thing I've done in a while. <laughs> What about the poetry slam? Oh, well, no one showed up to that. Dang. Where were you? Here. Like, across <laughs> the room from the slam? You're just watching? Yeah. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. I just, I just petted the cat for some <laughs> inspiration. Kim <laughs> soon munches on the book. How do you open this door? Hey, do you know how to unlock that door? Yep. How? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I ate it. No, stop. I have lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder, I wonder, that's true, yeah. I wonder if we tell Oliver that Kyung Soon wants the books. Oliver looks concerned. Uh, hello again. Sorry to pry, but <laughs> where's the book you checked out? <sighs> I let Kyung Soo eat it. Oh, Kyung Soo wanted to eat it, so I gave it to her. What? <laughs> Oliver dashes outside. <sighs> I probably should go stop any violence. Yeah, you've, you've sorted something now. Uh, Kyung Soon? Hi. What are you chewing on, if I may ask? Nothing. You're clearly chewing on something. Kyung Soon swallows. No, I'm not. <laughs> Would you mind opening your jacket? No. No, you wouldn't mind, or... No. <laughs> Kenshin, I can clearly see the outline of the book on your jacket. No. Maybe, maybe I'm just happy to see it. <laughs> That's Listen, my book tumor. You can't keep defacing books like this. <laughs> Destroying library property meant for everyone to use is just selfish. I... You, you, oh. you would know about being selfish. All the books to yourself, nom nom. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Just saying. At least I don't value books over actual breathing people. That's a low blow, kid son. Young soon. Sorry. Yeah, you would know about low blow. What is this jujitsu conversation style? Like, yeah, you would be a bad person. You would know. <laughs> what is be. this? I thought jokes were supposed to be fun. Ah! Do something. Talk to her. Oh man. Uh, you have any choice? Defend me. Hum, nom nom nom. Can, well, here's yourself. the thing. Can I, if I defend Kyung Soon, will she give us the damn the key? Like. Here's the thing. I feel like. I feel like they both have a side here. That there seems to be some conflict with these two. It's like mm -hmm. they've been in this purgatory for like a while, and they just have to deal with each other. I mean. Yeah, it's just us here. Nom nom. But so far, Kyung Soon has mocked my jokes. And well, has said, eaten this book without giving us a key. Said, and a ignored reason. a poetry slam. <laughs> she ignored a poetry slam. Dad, she had a ignored reason. It. She had a reason to put that in your joke. You gave her the book, and she can't throw off a key. And okay, explain invited. the poetry slam. She was an invited. She's in the same room. <laughs> she was invited. Yeah, but she just. Dad, there are many things that I'm not invited to where I'm just standing there and they're all talking in a circle. So are you saying <laughs> I should... Just burst in? So I should I should defend Oliver here? No, because it seems like there's some conflict with that. Well, I have to defend one of them. I might actually defend Oliver because Oliver actually has a chance of like maybe giving us something and Kyung Soon... Oh, so you only want to defend them based on what you're going to get out of the relationship, or That's what we're what about, about in purgatory, all right? <laughs> <laughs> point about books. To be fair, you're technically 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what in time-honored tradition. I'm going to leave it up to chat. All right, chat. Do we defend Kyung Soon or do we defend Oliver? Vote in chat. Kyung Soon or Oliver? Who mm -hmm. do I defend? Most important decision of the century. Yep. Who do we defend? Kyung Soon or the Oliver? Butterfly. The butterfly effect beyond this decision is crazy. I see, Garo <laughs> My logic is not complete. Coin flip. That's why he didn't go upstairs. Coin flip? Really? Yeah, no, we, yeah, we do. All right. It's a coin. Whatever works. Garlic thinks Kyung Soon. Shadow thinks Kyung Soon. Ah! Nom nom! <laughs> no! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, I have two votes for Kyung Soon. Anyone else? No. No. So you're just going against my incredible logic here. Oh, uh, Mrs. Dunsell thinks Oliver. Crit Twitch says Oliver. Oh, we have Ty. <laughs> and now ah. we've made no progress. Two for yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the democracy. Uh, now Kyung we're, Soon, in, Kyung now Soon. we're in purgatory. <laughs> As we should be. Uh, uh, uh. Two Kyung Soons and two Oliver. Oliver, there are no actual breathing people. It's purgatory. Ah, interesting. All right. Oliver. No, we have three for Oliver and two for Kyung Soon. Going once. Oliver. Three for Oliver. Two for Kyung Soon going twice. I agree with this. All right. Oliver. Here we go. Defend Oliver. Maybe you should just give the book back, no, Young Soon. No. But but you're the one who gave it to me. Or is that not to me? Did you really? No. Yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. Yes. It's okay. I know you only checked it out just to humor me. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you'd mind. In any case, uh, Kyung Soon. Ki Kyung Soon. Fine then. Ah. Kyung Soon pulls the soggy torn book out from within her jacket. <laughs> A small key clatters to the ground. Let's go. Ah, uh, so she was lying. Wait, what's this? The key to the door. Why didn't you give me this before? <laughs> Double-handed axe chop! All right. Um. <laughs> it's not that kind of game. Uh, I have to I'm... run this book by the preservation cabinet ASAP. You better not pull something like this again, Kyung Soon. Whatever. Uh, no, Oliver no. runs off. <laughs> you decide to keep the key. Yeah, we do. Okay, bye. <laughs> Don't leave me here with <laughs> the cat. Aha. Uh -huh. What are your hobbies? Eating things. Oh, you know. Sitting. <laughs> breathing. Eating. Me too. Hmm. I, I love, love sitting and... Oh, I that's you. I know. I also <laughs> love sitting and breathing. You have so much in common. Can't beat it. Yep. Uh, what's up? What's up? Same old. Cool. Cool. All right, I want to ask about the cat. Can Where did this cat, cat come from? Is it yours? I, I decay. It's always been there. Just, it's... just standing still. Mm -hmm. It just walks around sometimes. Hmm. Does it have a name? Cat. <laughs> <laughs> did you eat it? <laughs> nod, nod. Good name. Hi, cat. <laughs> All right, let's open up this door. You unlock the door. I was just thinking, what you no need to hold on to this key. I throw it at Kyung Soon's face. No. Aha! Uh... Oh, lockers. The pipe's leaking a little. Oh, really? Well, you have, yeah. they give you a lock to. They no, give you the... no, 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 they're, they're COVID. Okay. You can't even use them. Due to COVID? Yeah, so I'm just going to have <laughs> shoulder pain for the next, like, eight years. <sighs> so, Mom's thinking of getting one of those rolly backpacks. Okay. I actually, like, kids might laugh at me, but, like, it's better than having shoulder pain. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's something in here. There is something in here. <gasps> cool! A snow globe! Nice. A cool snow globe with a cat in it. Meow. <laughs> There's nothing left in these lockers. 
All right. Uh. A light bulb. It's dead, of course. Can I pick it up? Everything here is. No. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Oh. A sock. Being in purgatory really sucks. Oh no. Outstanding. Rocks. Uh. Whoa. It says, watch your paws. What creature are we? Cave stuff. Cave stuff. <laughs> Who designed this path? Yo, snow globe lit. <laughs> what? More cave stuff. Ooh, different sound, too. Someone pulled up one of the planks. Why would anyone do that? Um... The fence is not very sturdy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's see. Go back to the right. Ooh. A pencil. The lead is broken. Isn't this the cat from the other room? This cat is God. This entire world revolves around the cat. Eleven tallies. The heck is this? The last one was 21. It's just a scribble. That's true, actually. 11, 21. Alright, uh... The other end of this pipe. Oh! It's my itch! Oh, wait, I gotta turn on. It doesn't, of course. <laughs> can't, I can't turn it. <laughs> Why should you? I love that cat is the only setting. <laughs> oh, did you go to the little star? That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Now some Bach. Da, 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 da. Okay, um. <laughs> I can. Oh, the volume. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Chad. I love how simplistic yet great this game. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh. Now this is the game forever. You can never escape. Yeah. yeah I mean, like that's that's the mini game. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a person. A water cooler. It looks like it's full of orange soda. Which is <gasps> actually not that bad for purgatory. I mean, I guess that's why it's purgatory and not hell. Someone threw a poem into this trash can. Okay. Orange soda. <laughs> Lukewarm and runny. Whenever I drink it, my stomach feels funny. Oh, yeah. That's probably not good. Yeah, that's exactly. Ooh, clock with no time. Haha. <laughs> A clock with no hands. Oh, God. Is that a spider whip? Joke. Do spiders go to purgatory? <laughs> they go to webatory. Uh, Webatory. Okay, that was the other side oh. of that. Wait, what just happened? All right, so I go like this. Oh, and you go back. It's like a circle. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So then if I go up here and I go up to the right. Uh, hmm. Whoa, what? Whoa. Um, so much to explore. Oh, my God. It's a double A battery. This will come in handy. Heck yes. All right, what about this? Soap. That won't come in handy. Um, it's... Uh, Actually, you have no <laughs> clue what this is. Yeah, remember. A stinky, stinky bag of fertilizer. What Heck yes. What's up, Rock God? Spiders go to fly hell, they get started. The Sorry, dates. what's up? Say again. The calendar. Remember, he was counting stuff? Oh, yeah. I'm, I am work right to left. Let me see if I have rope. Uh, rope. Great. Some paper towels. That's not what that looks like. Mm hmm. Cool, another slow, a slow globe. Slow yes. globe. A slow globe. Is, is that the achievement? Like how many snow globes you pick up? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get like the whole collection. I love that it doesn't pick up snow globes, but it does pick up, uh, it doesn't pick up rope, but it does pick up snow globes. Yeah, a blanket. Uh, okay. A bucket. Yeah. A broom. 
Rift is an incredibly educational game. You're no expert, but that really doesn't look safe. A scribbled note that says, note to self, get more cables. Some sort of electrical box. Can I not open that? No, I guess not. Uh, An exposed pipe. Okay. Maybe getting out of here is a pipe dream. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you make that joke already? No. Paper towels. Okay. Someone doesn't know how to draw paper towels. <laughs> Seriously. Those, those are obviously too too thin to be paper. That's that's more like toilet paper. It's milk. You don't even have to check. It's I milk. Like, I can kind of take it. Oh, you already did this one. Some notes about supply deficiencies or something. Okay. You know, that's not All right, much. what about, here's this calendar. <laughs> According to this calendar, it's Meowvember the 4th. Wake me up when Meowvember ends. <laughs> um, all right, I guess that's all there was. Did you get another snow globe though? All right. And then we have, what? Some sort of rock tower thing. Looks like you need to come from the other side to lower this drawbridge. This is the true Dark Souls of Purgatory. Um, <laughs> Elden Ring. It's a catwalk. Nope. Okay, we're turning this game around. Also looks <laughs> very unsafe. Very unsafe. Um, I already did that. Catwalk. Looks very unsafe. And I do a little dance on the catwalk. Okay, so I can't go this way, obviously. So we should go back and jump. All right, I guess so, yeah, because we... Whoa, what? Oh, right. And then down this way, and then this way, and then I think it was this other way. It was that way. And then back that way. Back that way. Oh. What? I mean... Left. 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 Left again. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on a second. Ah-ha-ha! See? Ah-ha! A potted plant. Okay. A pot. A pot. This does remind me of a very simple West of Loathing. This game is really destructive. A potted plant. Oh, wow. A sidewalk. Sort of ends here. Sort of ends here. Hopefully it's cat milk, not cow milk. Dad joke the yes, video got game. Sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what the liquid is. Well, no, oh, you don't even want to know. know. Rain boots. It's does it rain in everybody. purgatory? It's can't yeah. be. Rain boots, uh, does it rain? Some bricks. A sad looking flower. A mysterious tiny cube. Okay. A pencil. Okay. A can of white paint. Still okay. A spade. Looks like Purgatory has gardening supplies in spades. Oh, I'm not gonna make it through this game. <laughs> a mallet. Ooh, a mallet. I have to say, God, though, I'm really loving this game. This I know, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have I no blame for yourself. It was punny. A I rock. Know, they said it was punny. Another draw. Our puds, they said. It would be fun. Oh, a garden? Said. It looks like it. A dead bush. No need to beat around it. Ha <laughs> 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 Got him. Despite being dead, this tree is bearing some sort of black fruit. I wouldn't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't Can I that. take one of them? Uh, all right. Then you missed the missed, I missed what? Oh no, there's a door. I'm looking. A rock. This river is full of milk. Yuck. Oh. Ooh. Uh. She died like she lived, <laughs> unremarkably. <laughs> wow. That burn. That's harsh. Dang. Even for purgatory. <laughs> They were a good parent, but a bad tightrope walker. Are we gonna be here on this game? Uh, someone left them some. Well, is a bit from. Ah, someone left them some flowers. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> they died like they lived, fighting crocodiles. I actually think that's the Z pronoun that they're using. Z died oh, like I thought it was Z an accent. <laughs> I thought it was an accent. Z died way. like Z lived, <laughs> fighting crocodiles. <laughs> Z will pay with the ultimate penalty. <laughs> uh, this one just says BRB. BRB? Good riddance. 
He was a proud father of 16 cats. Uh, oh, I already saw that. Okay, I did. A dead tree. What about this? Cool archway. Cool archway. Bricks. All right. Oh, okay. That can be an amazing job narrating. Looks like someone was playing horseshoe. Uh. It says, Please, stay off the grass. Purgatory parks and reclaw... Reclawation? Reclawation. It should, should be more reclamation. Yeah. That's a bit of a stretch. I like that that's the one that gets them. A bench. Uh. Okay. Nice bongos. This is where the milk is coming from. I always oh. knew it. Eesh, gross. Seriously. Like that. Um, <laughs> stairs. Okay. okay. Wait, air vent. Aha. A leaf. Why would anyone leaf this lying around? I... All right. Why do I take the leaf? All right, I can't. Um. Why would anyone frame a picture of a chair? Wait for it. No, nope, I thought it was coming to. Hmm. Ooh, whoa. <gasps> animation. Ooh. Wow. wow. <laughs> Admire the animation, chat. This is where all the budget went. Yeah. This is the, the newest <laughs> Unreal Elevator. Engine 5. <laughs> Unreal Engine 5 demo. Yeah. Uh, oh, that? We're all so happy to see this. Yeah. I think you got to go down. Oh, my <laughs> God. This music. <laughs> this music. Yo, is this cat elevator music? Yes, this song meow, is a meow. banger shadow. Well said. Fly me to the meow. <laughs> <laughs> you push the button, but the elevator doesn't move. Guess you're already on that floor. What? <laughs> okay. What's the point of this elevator? I don't know. Let's try the ladder. They lost all the budget. Uh... Some sort of cactus or something. Also some, okay. Some sort of cactus or something. Ring the doorbell? Yes. You ring the doorbell. A sleepy looking moth opens the door. All so oh, right, let's see. Uh, Dot, why don't you give me this uh, sleepy looking moth? Please. Can I help you? Can I? Oh, uh, hi. Is this your house? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want any cookies. I'm trying to watch my way. <laughs> uh, what cookies? Hmm. Cook cookies. Uh, cookies. 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 <laughs> You wave your hand in front of her eyes. She doesn't respond. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Are we sure that she's a slave? Or... All righty. Have a nice day. Remember what the dormouse said. I'm just saying. <laughs> she closes the door. Feed your <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I was just saying backstage, I'm sad we don't get a mammoth. We don't have a mammoth, uh, and that yeah. might have to be the next great mammoth drop. There you is, go. Uh, feed your head. So cute. <laughs> uh. Okay. Locked Looks like it's locked from the inside. All right. Well, I don't think there's anything else to talk to her about. Okay. So here's this. Oh, oh wait. Can I go back this way? I can. Aha! Peoples. Whoa! Look at these cool cats. All right. Let's see. Let's Whoa. do this. All right. They're um, just technically not cats. <laughs> I want Zach to do a character, so I'm going to have Cinnamon do this one. I'm going to have Zach do the snake. Great. Yo, we've got fresh meat. <laughs> uh, hi. My name's Arvzak.Cinnamon. Hiya, Arvzak.Cinnamon. I'm Sean. This is Elijah. Nice to meet you. Okay. What's up, man? <laughs> um, not much. I think I might be dead. I already forgot. Oh, I'm Sean. You're Alasha. Okay, go ahead. Oh, my condolences. My condolences. Uh, not sure if anyone's told you that you this yet, dude. But we're all dead. But 
think they know that scene. Sean. Sean. John. And you always <laughs> mess it up, Elijah. No, H. Elijah, I see. Sorry. What? H? That's not how you spell Sean. Well, uh, excuse me, but not everyone's a smarty pants like you, Elijah. Hey now, my pants are totally average intelligence. So, arvzac.senevine, tell me. What's a cutie like you doing in a purgatory like this? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you come like, here often. Like, what, is this like? what? What got you sent down here? Everyone here's got a story. For example, Elijah's here for being too much of a smarty pants. Hey. Oh, uh, oh, um, I, I don't remember much about my past life. Knowing me, it was probably something like shoplifting. shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Shoplifting. <laughs> I bet that's why Sean's here. Excuse me? You heard me, dude. I'm a model citizen. Citi citizen. citizen. You can't even citizen. say it. You spit I know. the words out I'm, of I'm your sorry, mouth. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I've never shoplifted. Even <laughs> once. Except for that one time at the groceries. And also that time at the bowling alley. What did you shoplift from a bowling alley? <laughs> a bowling ball, duh. That's a good argument. Come on, someone dared me to. Uh, how about you, Sean? Why are you here? Oh, me? No, the other Sean. Oh. Oh, too much of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sean. I can't help it, dude. <laughs> I'm a freaking stud magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody and also, so oh, we thought this game was good. We thought this oh, game was Sean. Good. Sean. Oh, Sean. I'm right here. So I figure, you know, after all that, God sent me down here to repent, as he should, among a bunch of prudes. What a cruel, cruel fate for old Sean here. Come on, man. Don't scare off the new person. Um. Uncle <laughs> Cough. <laughs> 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 anyway, tell you what, Arvzak, Darvzak. you're gonna love it here. We have a hell of a time, twiddling our thumbs, watching paint dry. Dang, is it that boring? You get used to it after a while. We all got our own ways to pass the time. Me, I write poems. Numa, the gardens. I'm sure you'll find your thing to do. I guess so. Welcome to the purgatory, anyway, for what it's worth. Yeah, dude, welcome to purgatory. Who knew that that voice was going to be 100% dead on perfect? <laughs> Thanks. I think mine's like two. Well, it's <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. That's a lot of paper. <laughs> That's a lot of paper. A desk also covered in papers. Oh, I, I don't odonto what now? Uh. The doors. Try the doors. Okay, a desk covered in papers. Ah. Elijah scribbles on his notepad. Uh, how's the poetry going? <laughs> I suppose. Elijah tosses another crumpled paper onto the pile. Did you write in real life? Were you a writer in real life too? Yeah, I did my fair share of writing. This is a hobby though, just a hobby. That's pretty cool. How'd you get started? Well, the community college I went to in the poetry club. Got involved with a couple of kids there and the rest is history. Oh, cool. Yep, Warner Robins Poetry Sam, that's what we called ourselves. It was a pretty low-key thing. How about you? Did you write much? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing serious, <laughs> but I used to write in the Gray Shade Kickstarter, excavation point Gray Shade Chaos. <laughs> I guess I fell out of the habit. Well, at least you have 
plenty of time to pick it up again. That's true. That's that's true. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, I want to ask him about that word on the thing. What does that word on the sign mean? Here you uh, go. Onto onto the forest. No clue. My working theory is that that it's a type of bug. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, some. Somebody some, once told me the world. the world is gonna roll me. <laughs> Someone who's a suck up? No, something that's part of a tooth. I. That's what I think. Yeah. Something that's yellowish white. You have a. You have a thought on this dot, or something that smells really bad. Oh, Dante. Oh, Dante sounds like something that's part of a yeah. tooth. Yeah, yeah dent. Dant. Something that's part of a tooth. My theory is that Satan was having a little la Oh yeah, you weren't expecting me to just butt my way into this conversation. <laughs> ha, hi, I'm Sean. Uh, decided to frame the only word that Elijah doesn't know. You're tripping, man. There's plenty of words I don't know. Now, Oliver is another story. <laughs> about my own. Wow. Have you ever heard one of his lectures? Yeah, once. I fell asleep at variable. <laughs> That's not even a hard word. I'll need to rub it in. All right, Sean. Sean looks bored. Uh, looking good. No, <laughs> you no. good, snaky boy. Uh, anything you can tell me about this place? You mean purgatory? No, the other place. Yes. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, my dude. Something specific you want to know? <laughs> How do you get out? Play Hades. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, any places I should check out? Uh, the meow keyboard's pretty cool, I guess. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, huh. No, his reaction is ha ha. Ha ha. The park's a nice place to hang out, too. My turn to button. It's pretty cozy <laughs> once you get over the fact that the river is made of milk. Or wants me to slide into Sean's DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, okay, I want to just ask about the people. Um, pretty self Okay, people, there we go. Any people I should meet? Oh. Have you met Natalie yet? I don't think so. Oh, man. You like puns, right? Obviously. I like that the choices are yes, duh, and obviously. <laughs> then you two are going to get along great. <laughs> I'm open to the possibility. What? That one doesn't even make sense. Uh, okay, what's this? That's a lot of paper. What's that up there? A broken lamp. Okay. So, oop. Yeah, I busted that lamp a couple weeks ago. Turns out there's a good reason why indoor baseball's not a thing. Whoa. An advertisement for an exhibit called Discover the Cat. That sounds like it's a reference to something. Someone dug up a floor tile here. Hmm. You're floored. <laughs> Someone dug up a floor tile here. You're floored. Does it say anything? Uh... Whoa. The Cat Meowseum. Also, oh, X, X wins. X wins. Oh, we finally have a win. Uh, it's not a draw. Just kidding, it's a draw. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. All right. The Cat Meowseum. The door is locked with a padlock. Uh, what was the... 2111. Yeah. Hmm. We haven't gotten another four-digit code. I don't... I don't think so. Could try 1121. 1121. 11. 666, then 6. 6666. <laughs> How do we spell meow? Or 1234. Oh. Hang on. Hello. I got my... Wait, I have to think. Meow. Okay, it's... Uh, it's 6... Three. Oops. 
three, uh, six, nine. Nope. Hey, chat has a good idea. It's seven, seven, three, four, if upside down is hell. Seven. What should be like one, one, one? That was a good choice. One, two, three, four. Oh. Got it! Wow. wow. Got it. Well done. Nice work. <laughs> the padlock open. Yo, hey again. Did you get the door open? Sean peers down the hallway. Yep. One, two, three, four. Dang, finally. Can't believe I forgot that one. <laughs> Sean, no offense, but you'd forget your own tail if it wasn't connected to your butt. <laughs> My luggage code is down here. Not true. I would keep it safe in my pocket. You would keep... Would you keep it in your tail coat? Sure. Okay. Remind me why the museum is locked again? Oh, because I locked Natalie inside while we were playing <laughs> hide and seek. She's just... Uh, of course. Uh, you don't think she's still in there, do you? Natalie? Nah, she's a resourceful gal. I'm sure she found another way out. No one can die or anything. Probably. It might behoof us just to check. Just might. Yes, absolutely. And in <laughs> case anyone is wondering, I definitely know what that word means. Sean saunters into the Meowseum. Elijah follows with an apologetic shrug. <laughs> take this padlock? A padlock, no longer locked. Okay. According to this sign, the museum, the museum, yeah, here it goes. The museum is open every day except Muse Day. Muse Day. Aha! Uh -huh. So, it's oh my goodness. Different shots of the cat. <laughs> it's a cat standing on its hind legs. I'm not going to look at every one of these. Uh, one. A jar for donations, repurposed from a fish bowl. Okay. Guess they're fishing for money. <laughs> Mysteriously, there's a sock and a leaf inside. Can I take them? Dad, remember the sock and the leaf we saw already? Yes, I do, actually. These sound like things cats like. That's, mm hmm It says, you need a ball of yarn. <laughs> your contributions are greatly appreciated. Meowzeum meow management. The sign says, Felis Erectus, the ancestor of the modern human. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Okay. Huh. It's just a ball of yarn. Oh, well, that would be a magical string of, of the cat of the cat goddess Basset. Ba Bastet. Bastet. This is where the cat pictures and other dead memes go when they die. <laughs> really? <laughs> Discover the cat and exhibit it. Exhib, exhibit. God. <laughs> exhibit all it. about. <laughs> exhibit it. All about our colossal feline friends. The rest of the sign is basically just cat puns. Discover the cat. Well, I've discovered it already. It's really loud and claws up your legs like a rock climber on El Capitan. El, El Capitan. El Capitan. Uh. It's a bunch of cats at war. This one's kind of morbid. The cats do look pretty cheerful to be charging into battle, but now that you mention it. Uh. This is just the normal starry night. Isn't the cat supposed to be screaming oh or something? Oh my god, it's the scream. It's the scream. Of There's the, the ah! pearl earring. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> a portrait of a cat. A cat with an apple in front of its head. What do you think it means? Maybe it's shy. I can relate. Can't we all? Honestly, I'm glad you came and talked to us first. If you just kept on walking through the room, I probably wouldn't have stopped you. Ah, <laughs> oh, the classics. Like a breath of musty museum air. 
Ooh, are you an expert on the classics? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that's Starry Night. That's the screen, but with a cat face. I've definitely seen that Apple one before. Other than that, I have no clue. You think so, Garlic? They're fun to browse every now and then, though. Makes me feel like, like a fancy pants just looking at them. I think they're nice. I mean, if they're famous, it's probably for a good reason, right? Nobody gets famous for reasons having <laughs> nothing to do with the quality of their internal characteristics, right? I yeah. Just... <laughs> Not at all. <clears throat> this pearl earring one's really pretty. <laughs> well, maybe they do something right up in that uh, ivory tower. Did you find Natalie anywhere, by the way? No, uh, I've got distracted. I'm pretty sure she'll turn up somewhere. What does she look like, anyway? I don't even know who we're looking for. Oh, she's got moth wings. Worth a hoodie. About this tall if you don't count the antenna. Is that the one we already talked to? Yeah. The sleepy yeah. moth was Natalie? Yeah. What if you do count the antenna? Elijah shrugs and moves his hand up by a foot. She got some big old antenna. <laughs> I think somebody's got a Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> I was going to say. New exhibition. It's, Cat butts in chat. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> cat. <laughs> I think it needs to be like, cat. You know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rotate 3D rendering. <laughs> Ooh, the staff. All right, let's see. A mop. Oh, there's a globe. Oh, here's another one. Cool, a snow globe. Uh, some flashcards. Oh, somebody's been learning. A broken lock. Kid escape. A mallet. You have a feeling you know what happened to that lock. I have a feeling I know what happened to Natalie. Um, She's asleep. A flat yeah. box. You know who that is. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Oh. It's not very flattering. Yeah, my bad. Uh -huh. oh, wait, you ruined my pun. Clearly, this painting was too beautiful to display outside. Clearly. Hey, Caput! <laughs> um, oh, I already said that. Uh, it's a popsicle stick. It's a popsicle stick. Okay. Oh. As you reach for the door, suddenly the game just like turns incredibly dark. <laughs> you hear the distant sound of something <laughs> shattering. Scare, you would pay for your lack of vision. Everyone, ah! everyone prepare yourselves for the jump scare. Whoa, hey, hey, Sean. Jeez, Sean Thrill. is the Sean's the one PG thirteen, you know. Yeah. This uh, game has a rating, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immune from ratings. <laughs> yeah. Well wait, can you still go through the door? That's yeah, you but could still it's beautiful. I guess we could. I, I thought I should go back and find it. Just a spear. A spear? A sphere. A spear. Man, I, can't, a spear. I, can't say, I can't say anything. That's a lizard. It's a scaly cat. Some lights. It's a scaly cat. All right, let me go back. Oh! I found him. <gasps> oh, no. They Sean. broke something. Sean! Sean! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude. I know what this looks like. But it wasn't my fault. God damn it, Sean. What do you mean it wasn't your fault? Oh, okay, it was sort of my fault. With your birth! All right. But I barely touched it. Sean. Why were you touching it anyway? He, like, completely pushed it, right? Like, just, just, like, <laughs> yeah, there's a just, flashback. Just like a cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I wanted to know if it feels fluffy or not. Are you kidding no, me? No, D Does it? Don't ask him. Of course not. Ah, it's made no of frelin not. ceramic. I had a lapse in judgment. Sean, Elijah groans. Sean. This is not the rating. <laughs> Man, if we're down here to, ato to atone up for our sins, we really shouldn't be going around making trouble. I wonder if there's like a rating system here where you just take out Sean and it makes everything <laughs> First the lamp, now this. Hey, it was an accident. Besides, I bet this cat was purposely made, purposefully made super fragile so any poor soul who touched it would break it. Like for insurance fraud or whatever. Very valuable in purgatory. I saw that on Reddit once. 
Listen, man. Accidents happen to everyone. That's just how life is. Ex I'm, for some reason, I've completely turned around. My character has just changed. I just immediately... Just moved to that one. He just can't. He can't even deal with Sean <laughs> yeah. anymore. I, I, listen, I've been stuck with him for a while. And Garlic's right. Like, we've all met Sean. I think that's fair to say. We've all... We've all seen but Sean. Would it hurt you to just be a little more careful? Hmm. I, I, I think... I think bottom. Bottom. Elijah's right. I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Thank you. Well, send me to hell, I guess. Done! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. I'm clumsy, so sue me. I used to break plates and stuff all around the house all the time. Elijah rubs his head. His head or Sean's head? It's all right. It's all right, man. <laughs> Sean. Eh, it must have been a handful for Danny. Danny? Hey. Oh, what if that was his owner? Leave Danny out of this. Mm. Whoa, whoa. He's teasing. <sighs> you know it's a touchy topic. I'm a sensitive guy. Sorry, man. I was just trying to let him know. Whatever. I think I'm going to peace out for a bit. Don't have to. I mean, Natalie's obviously not here anyway. What are we even doing in here? Sean leaves, tossing up his hands. Did he just break and run? I think that's what he did. Uh huh. Oh. As someone who specializes in words, you'd think I would have word to watch what comes out of my mouth. Sorry seems to be the saddest word. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I'll go get the broom. Elijah walks off. Uh. Rest in pieces, Maine Coon. Oh, do not. Schrodinger's. Oh, come on. <gasps> Is there. A box that says do not open. You gotta open it. Open it? Yes. There's nothing inside. Of course, inside. there isn't. Naturally, there isn't. Um. <clears throat> it's a philosophical principle about. Oh, is that the. Is Schrodinger's that the cat. Is? No, yeah. Schrodinger's cat, if you put him in a box, the idea is you can never be certain that the cat does or doesn't exist. And, and if you open the box, it doesn't mean that it wasn't there before you opened it. And oh, I hate things like it, Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a giant theory about the about what makes something in existence, basically. Yeah. I also hate those things where it's like, if a tree falls down in the middle of a forest, does it make yep. it sound? Yeah, it's exactly same, like same that. Same principle. It's like, right. if, you, if you don't see it, does it exist? But the moment that you see it, you change everything around it, the perception. So yeah, mm -hmm. a paper airplane. Interesting. Getting like backstory about these characters, like Oliver. And they already did that one. Uh, a hairless cat. It's a picture of some dude with a cat, named Arvin Elrond. <laughs> the only surviving photograph of John Cat, the inventor of cats. What? what? God, do you mean? <laughs> Cats come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> the rest of this sign is just scribbles. Uh, all right, we already saw this. Um, all right, so let me go back to the thing that had the right. Cat, cat, cat. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that one. Okay, we already oh, been we here. Oh, we opened it. We opened it, Dad. Oh, that's... What did we Wait, open? did we? Wait, what? Yeah, go through there. Yeah, you, did, you just activated oh. the drawbridge. Oh, I did? No, go for yeah. Oh, that's the drawbridge. Oh, okay. And that's the Nicely closet. done. Yeah. Okay. It's quiet. This isn't <laughs> a door, just a drawing of a door on the wall. Okay. Of course. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Oh. Another part where they put all their animation. Yeah. Budget. I love how it's only going down. Yeah. <laughs> a table with seven circular indentations in it. Gotta get seven snow globes. Ah, uh, oh wow, I wouldn't have pieced that together that quickly. A trio of cool snow globes. But. Mm -hmm. Okay. Caution. Some emergency lights, maybe? What is this? Wires. Okay, I made it up there. <laughs> we just had to run up it. Oh, what the oh, heck? Annoying. Where? Jeez. It's like a that garden. warehouse from Indiana Jones. It really is. <laughs> you feel like this is a reference to something, but you're only half sure. I guess. 
A crowbar. Tell me that's a usable item. Come on, man. What? Who in a game does not pick up a crowbar <laughs> when given that <laughs> option? Uh, uh, it's, it's just not needed in purgatory. I, but... <laughs> just a plank or something. But snow globes are? Yes. Is that a cat toy up there? Yeah, give me the crowbar. It's too high to reach. I'll bet it is. What about with my crowbar? All right. Lots of big containers. Hey, guys, I found the uh, supply chain problem. <laughs> All right. Uh... Lots of big containers. Okay. That's exciting. What is that? It says, notice, authorized workers only in the warehouse, please. Okay. In smaller text, it says, beware of hazardous materials and heavy machinery. Purgatory claims no liability in the case of death or dismemberment. Seem to be redundant. Um, oh. Character. Let's see. All right, Dot. Uh, they already know our name. I don't uh, know what to they, say for this they name. Do. I, yeah. yeah, I don't even know. It uh, looks like someone who kind of is, is officious. They look, little, they look a little cool, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Arvzag Dot Sinovi? I've been expecting you. As have I. <laughs> <laughs> Please, now we both draw rapiers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia? Nice try. <clears throat> it's Tori. Yeah, well, that's your your nickname, but the full name. Oh, damn, worth a shot. But how did you know my name? Simple. It says right there on the screen. Ooh, that's very meta. You look at the arrivals screen where your name is written. Oh, weird. Yes, your name has been up there for over a week. But as usual, no one seemed to notice but me. To be fair, I was expecting you to show up on a train. Anyways, my name is Tori. Entrepreneur, black belt, and deceased soul. I have to know, Tori, were you a wellness expert and did you believe that crypto was not going to eventually collapse? <laughs> if you don't mind, I have some questions for you. Or he lifts a clipboard. I immediately break it in half. As a black belt, she should know. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess. One, who are you and what is your purpose here? Uh, tell the truth. I woke up in an office with an old lady who said I was going to purgatory. Then I went through a portal and ended up here. Hmm. That checks out. Two. What would you say was your greatest sin? Um, I, I don't really remember. Really? Yeah, I, I woke up without any memories at all. Sorry. Hmm. I suppose people have reported memory loss before. What's up, Rising Ties? Welcome to a really fun <laughs> game. Seems like an excuse. <laughs> Tori flips through her clipboard. Well, the answer is most of the rest of my questions. Ugh. One last question. What do you think that means? She points at the departure screen, which says, Heaven Delayed. It means they'll let us out soon. Positivity. That's what it means, Tori. An optimist, huh? That's good. You'll need that. Regardless, I'm not interested in standing around and waiting for some celestial being to have mercy on me. I'm trying to break out of here, and I think that sign means I'm close. Can I count on your help, newbie? Uh, sure. That's the spirit. Now you excuse me, I've got some work to attend to. I think it's time to dig up some clues. <laughs> Stay for all stay, Arbzak Dot Senevi. Mm, and you had said she seems a little cool. See ya. Tori briskly walks away. Alright. Looks like some sort of train schedule. 
Can I go down the train tracks? Oh. Under departures, it says heaven delayed. Heaven delayed. Under arrivals, it says arvzak.senavin arrived. That's you. <laughs> A vending machine. Uh. Unfortunately, this tunnel ends in like 10 feet. Okay, same thing. What about this bench? An uncomfortable looking bench. All right. So we've been there, we've been there, we have not been up here. Aha. A stained glass window. It's a very weird place for a stained glass window. Whoa. Live, laugh, meow. Mow. Someone really went to town on these pillows. Uh. Whoa, uh. Instead of a mattress, <laughs> this bed just has a cat bed on top of it. It's a cat. I already saw that. <clears throat> uh. Aha! Cool! Heck a snow yeah. globe! Four down, three to go. Seven, right? Is what we needed? Uh huh. A stylish table. It's a carpet. All right. Or is it a rug? It probably doesn't matter. Outstanding. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, it's, oh, it's... Is that... That's got to be Natalie, right? Wait, mm -hmm. but wasn't Natalie in the other room? I thought so. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe Natalie's twins. everywhere. Uh, who's doing... You want... Dot. I, I was... No. Um, sorry, I was muted. <laughs> he hello? The what? Oh, hey. I think she's my favorite character in Zelda. Who are you again? I'm new here. <laughs> Hi, new here. I'm Natalie. Boo! Oh. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be here all eternity. But really, what's your name? It's Arvzak.Cenevine. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm guessing you don't remember the cookies thing. What cookies thing? Earlier I rang the doorbell and you showed up and said you didn't want any cookies and then left. I did? Oh my god. I must have been sleepwalking. I'm so sorry. I totally believe, by the way, this is how she is. Like, oh my god, I am <laughs> such a disaster. Mindy, yeah, uh. whoa, is me. I was just having a great dream about cookies. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It was funny. Everyone saw it. Everyone. Everyone. Still. Exactly, Stelio. What a way to make a first impression. Make a first impression. And by the way, chat, very quickly, we have about 10 minutes left on this. So while we're doing this, let me just remind everybody uh, that if you're enjoying this, you can follow the channel. And also, if we get to 8,300 and two more backers, and you can back for as little as a dollar, but if you get up to $8,300, then uh, the person who donates the most during that time, if we get to 8,300, will receive a custom drawing sent to my awesome, spectacular daughter, who will then draw this for you. So that will be the case. Uh, you do that with exclamation point gray shade KS, as Rudinal has been kind enough to place up there. Did you get your picture? Okay. It's all good, really. So how long have you been here? Oh, it's been a while. Been a while. I, st <laughs> I still have the books I checked out from Oliver when I arrived. Oh, they're probably overdue by years. Yeah, he knows about them. All of them. Oh, yeah, he convinced me to borrow a book, too. You, too. Oh, LOL. That boy <laughs> never changes. I really should return these books, come to think of it. Do you want Do me I? to take them for you? Yeah. I'm probably heading down there anyway. You are not in my life. Oh, <laughs> heck. <laughs> that would be awesome. Thanks. 
It's true, Shadow. Maybe our sin was never learning to read. That was the... I'm glad I'm not alone in this endeavor. Outstanding work. Ha <laughs> ha. DW. I'll make sure to book it to the library. I'm... Oh, sorry. I'm sure Oliver will be elated to have them back. Yeah, that should cover him. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, he doesn't God. have a spine anyway. I'm oh, glad we're on God. the same page here. Oh my God! Oh, that was a let's go. Oh man, dad joke streak. It was oh, pretty God. great. Yeah, I think it's time for me to turn the next page. Yeah. 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 See, I yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to bind <laughs> you here to. Oh my God. <laughs> let's move to the next chapter, please. Yeah, I see? Hate you all. I'm leaving this yeah. call right now. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, heard man. the library's good for circulation. <laughs> oh, I think they covered that in the newspaper. Someone stealing my joke. Someone stealing my joke. That is slowly dying. Sorry, well, yeah. Newspaper? More like newspaper. Okay, that one's terrible. Okay, that one sucked. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Hey, they can all be winners. Here are the books, anyways. Tell Oliver I thought they were good. Weren't you using them to hold up a table? Pretty good. Well, maybe. But he doesn't need to know that. There's a lighter and some dust bunnies in the drawer. Looks like Natalie replaced the books with a box of pencils. There's nothing behind this window. It's just mounted on the wall. Okay. A drawing of a galaxy. I call this one Starry Night. <laughs> Isn't there already a piece of art called that? No, I don't think so. What a cute dog. That doesn't look... Is that oh, the Mount it, of no, Lisa? it does. Oh, that's <laughs> my dog, Jimmy. Uh, that's the Mount Lisa right there. It looks a like rainbow. It. It's just a rainbow or something. I don't know. I decay. Some candles. These things are okay. <laughs> I thought that said a UFO. A UFO. <laughs> a UFO. A UFO. My great uncle claimed he was abducted by a UFO in the 60s. Least surprising thing you've said so far, Natalie. Least mm. surprising thing. And you just thought I was sleeping. <laughs> he also said that he had mind reading powers uh. and only worked on frogs. Driving that train high on. <laughs> My great uncle Ernesto was kind of weird. A drawing of an old lady. Wait for it. That's my grandmother. May she rest in peace. Okay, why, why is she here? Hopefully in heaven <laughs> and not here. Yeah, that's a really good. Question. Yes. Uh. Do they like turn to tables once they get here? That's the main character of my webcomic, Sophia. She's a little of a model due to all of my refs being on Earth. Okay. Oh, off model. She's off, off model, model, yeah. Doggo. Doggo. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Mon the Meowna Lisa with a cat face. That's right. Wow, did you draw this too? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, I just like to think that the characters like will say one thing and then walk like they'll walk up to you and then <laughs> yeah. walk back and then walk back. Exactly. And yeah. down. There is some art supplies inside. All right. Well, okay. Let me see if I can get back to Oliver, give him this thing, and then we'll wrap it. Uh, I get. Yeah, uh, hey, listen. I got it. I can do this. I got this. Yeah, you maybe can do it. Another double up. Double A battery, what luck. Okay, good, that is what yeah, luck. 
Nice picture of flower. Silence, I know what I'm doing. Bar of soap. <laughs> I know, I know that I haven't gone this way. A rack. Okay. Just some bricks behind okay. the window. Cool. The sofa. Is there a snow globe underneath the sofa? A sofa. Okay, I already went there. Um, oh, darn it. Okay, wait. Speed rush. Looks like someone was pushing glasses off this counter. Sean, probably. A toaster. Okay. You can't open these because someone forgot to draw handles on them. <laughs> Is that the truth? A glass dangerously close to the edge. We're living on the edge. Okay. Um, there's something wrong with this sink, sink today. I don't. Yep, it dispenses milk. Some of this is like aspects that you would expect cats would like, and then others you're like, ah. Oh. Okay. Wait. All right. And then this. Ah. Okay. So that is how you get to Natalie's. That all her room. That was her. Uh, yeah. That must have been her whole room. Which means I can't be that far. We're not that far. From, what's his face? Okay, from Oliver. Uh. Oh. All right. I gotta talk. I'm sorry. I gotta talk to her and then talk to. Okay. Arvzag dot Cinebe, just the person I wanted to see. Oh wow, are you trying to dig out of purgatory? What do you think I'm doing? Digging a latrine? Yes. But is going further down really going to help us? It's worth a shot. It really isn't. You know what they say: what goes down must come up. That's not. Heard it, but it's a bad saying. I don't think they say that. Nonsense. Want to grab a shovel? No. Uh, maybe later. Suit yourself. Alright, yeah. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, alright. Oliver? Uh, Oliver? Notice the speed and the grace with which I'm making all of these. Mm -hmm. what? I'm telling you what. <laughs> oh. It, oh, oh just darn it. Oh. oh look you at don't want to hear me play the piano? Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, I'm fine, don't worry. If you ever want to talk about what happened at the museum or anything... Hey, listen, dude. It's no bigs. Not even like a mediums? Not even a medium fries and coke, dude. Seven ninety nine. I'm a <laughs> troublemaker. Always been. I'm not even within the rating of this game. Breaking sculptures, breaking hearts. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Just another day in the life of Sean the Snake, baby. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say this, but if you say so. So what's up with this piano? You tell me, dude. It's all meows and stuff. <laughs> Sean plays a chord on the piano. Hmm. It must be a Nyamaha. <laughs> Quality. Uh, I hate to admit it, but that one was good. Yeah. Thanks. Can you play me something? Oh, hell yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I think I did this. Yeah. Clearly, this, this why is chat not full oh, no, of cat you, jams? You already? played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which is slightly different. Oh yeah, that's true. There, there should be some cat jams we here. Bob, Bob, Black Sheep. No, it's yeah. the right one. That was nice. Thank you, thank you. Please, no autographs right now. <laughs> Do you know anything else? Yeah, I also know Chopsticks and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Wow. Guitar is my instrument, man. I'm no good at piano. By the way, do you play at all? Maybe we can have a little jam sesh. Sure. Maybe later. Not gonna do now. <laughs> Let's jam. All right. Let's do it right now. Let me just get a little warmed up. Great. Damn it. Wait, what happened? I think it's out of battery. We got it, we though. We have. Aw, oh, man. I know, this blows. We need, like, two AA batteries. I got you, my dude. Otherwise, we are prohibited from jamming. 
banned from the jam. Exactly. Well, I'll see if I can find some. Please do. I don't know how much longer I can go without jamming out. I got you. Oh, wait. Uh. Yo, yo, yo. I got two batteries. Yes. Oh, my God. I've been waiting to jam for so long. <laughs> like two approximately seconds. 15 wait no, seconds. Wait no longer. I literally cannot wait a single more second. Give me those batteries. Sean plugs in the batteries. We're green, baby. Whatever that means. We are? You know, like like a green light. Just roll with it, man. Words don't have to make sense if they're in tune. <laughs> Let's rock and roll, baby face. What? No. That's the spirit. Also, please keep your expectations low. I am bad at piano. Well, it's okay. I have been practicing, though. Check this stuff out. Dang it. Never mind that. I think I know this one. Okay, just give me a second. Take your time. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. It's for Elise. It's doing great. Ah, you know what? Forget it. Bach is overrated anyway. All right, Flip's Piano. Bach is the greatest composer in the history. <laughs> uh, I kind of like it. I think I it's think soothing. It, oh, that was your line. Well, maybe it's good if you're trying to fall asleep. I do use it to fall asleep. Oh. Well, good for you. <laughs> anyway, do you know how to do uh, Heart and Soul? Like the piano duet? Is that the one that's like da 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 da? Yeah, I think so. Which part do you want? I'll do the bottom this time. Ready? Scoot over a little. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> time to jam. Woo, jam time. S start on C. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I think. There you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wasn't bad. Yeah. Heck yeah. We should start a band. <laughs> <laughs> Call it The Road. <laughs> now on our newest album, The Road. Don't get me started, dude. I've always wanted to start a band. The Rolling Cats. Oh, why didn't you? <laughs> IDK, man. I should have. I knew a girl that played drums. She probably would have joined if I asked her. And I played guitar and my partner played piano. So, like, we totally could have. Dang. My partner's the one who taught me that duet, you know. They were a damn goddamn prodigy on the keyboard. And, like, you know, by this point that I'm not into classical, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer something with a beat, you know. But when it's Danny. Danny tickled the ivories, I was like, it was like, wow. Yeah. It was transcendental sort of stuff. It makes you fall in love with someone. Suddenly understood why someone might devote their life to being able to play like that. Not me personally, but, you know, someone. Yeah, I bet. You said you play guitar, though, right? Oh, yeah, but not like how Danny played piano. We used to jam together, you know. The neighbors would come up, bang, in our, bang on our door and complain. Good times. Good times. Ah, uh, nice. Dude, I remember one time we were just jamming out. Window open because it's a nice day. One of our neighbors pokes his head inside with a tiny dog in his arms looking furious. And he's like, what is that god-awful noise? Oh. Tori appears down the staircase. Sorry, you're ruining it. Sorry, I'm muted. What is that god-awful noise? Oh, yeah, that was you now. Oh, hey, Tori. Arvzak dot good to see you again. Sean, how many times do I have to tell you? Some people are trying to work around here. Work on what? 
We're literally dead. <laughs> On important things. Important purgatory things. Preening your feathers is not an important purgatory thing. Wow. Just try to keep it down. No offense, but a choir of meows is not exactly angelic. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Sorry. Tori walks back up the stairs. <sighs> what a party pooper. Just pooping on all our parties and stuff. Right? I'll just turn the volume up, down a bit next time. Thanks for jamming, anyway. It's the most fun I've had since me and Kyung Soon snuck into Oliver's library and built a fort out of his books. <laughs> well, I had fun, too. I'll see you around, okay? See ya. Alright, I'm gonna save this, because we're past, past time. Well, we're gonna Oliver next time. Save it. This is great. I, I <laughs> This is so good for this. Oh my goodness. Except for the occasional Except swear words coming from Sean. But see, I the but thing we can is, all, we can forget I, I could Sean. do without the words, without the extra stuff because of you. But I like Sean, actually. I like, he sort of grows on you in a weird sort of, you know. And I like how like, they have backstories for, like Oliver. Yeah. But, Chat, what did yeah. you think? Did you like this? I feel like, I mean, I feel like this game is probably going to have one more session that will be done probably. But I think like, it said it was like a three to five hour game. Yeah. Depending on where you went, so. I feel like this is fun, Chat. What did you think of this? I, I was yeah, like. I liked it too. You know, it's like it's this. E I, it's easy on the mind. It's easy on the like, mm -hmm. you know, there's not terribly big words. Uh, it's great. I, I I love this little game. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, this is the kind oh, of stuff I play in like an afternoon by myself. Like this is the kind of stuff I do. Dot does uh, when she's not streaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is this is cool. Truly a 10 out of 10 experience. Um, this was great. So we, I think what will probably happen, Chad, is that um, we're going to be playing next month. Uh, again, we're going to be uh, bringing in new, well, we'll but there's more stuff coming for the air vocalist down the line. But in the meantime, during this month that you're still off of school, I imagine that little arv slash uh, the person you see listed the name on the screen there, so I mean, uh, mm -hmm. can be with us for at least one more session to kind of wrap up this game. So that'll be that'll be pretty good. And it was it was punny. There were some really good moments about the whole like you know the, the, the like fall things falling over and all this stuff. And yeah, I I like it reminds me a little bit of um, garlic tofu news that I this like this term called quiet fantasy. This is a little bit of a kind of a quiet game that is. Um, fun even in its simplicity and reminds me a lot, like I said, of uh, West of Loathing. So um, so this is good stuff. I'm going to send my daughter to bed now and then I'm going to uh, say goodnight to Zach and Dot. So, Senevine, great job, my love. Wonderful mm -hmm. work. Great mm -hmm. stuff. Yay. Uh, and you got a chance <laughs> to definitely do a different voices and I think you enjoyed this game too, yes? Yeah. You had fun with it? Um, right. I know they're like bad words you always get like upset whenever i see them but like i'm aware that you've heard them in many places i know <laughs> i'm just it's like the word i at my at eighth grade <laughs> and, and i the did edward it. yeah the seventh graders is like the normal word uh, mm -hmm. yeah having taught your grade that is the unfortunate truth yep <laughs> i know um chat can we get some love for the amazing Senevine? uh and Great thank job, Senevine. I, I got it. It's, there you go. Here, just you hold it back. There you go. Okay. Okay. The chair is trying to eat you. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. All right. And um, I am going to say goodbye to uh, my good friends and pros uh, here. With the uh, with the amazing Zach and Dot, um, Zach, thanks, a lot of fun. Uh, Sean was a memorable voice. I love the fact yeah. that you just sort of nailed the voice right off before we knew what his personality was. But like, that's one hundred percent his voice. There's no question about it. Um, How would you feel about the game, Zach? What's your uh, What's your take on the game? Hi, sweetheart. What's your take on the game and all that kind of stuff? And where will the folks find you next? Uh, I really like the game. It's it's fun to find these sort of slice of life uh, games out here because I haven't played something quite like this in a bit. So it's fun to be here to do the voices, but also to experience a different kind of game and to share that experience with, with everyone else at the table. 
Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. I like the game a lot. And of course, you know, Sean is Sean, but then when you sit down and play with him at the piano, he goes into his, you know, you know, his backstory and everything. And you're like, Oh, Sean, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. And I love the simplicity. You'd click on things and it's like a pot, mm-hmm. a sock. But then every so <laughs> often it's like, Oh, this is this. And yeah. it means the other. And then here's a yeah, pot. Yeah. And, yeah. You know? And then the yeah, the occasional 3D rotating cat is a uh, pretty pretty dope. <laughs> I love that, that was... everyone's reaction was immediately like, whoa. Yeah. You know, like, like... <laughs> it's funny how that how that mm. happens too. Like only in a game where everything is incredibly two-dimensional and simple does a simple 3D cat become so impressive. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um so yeah, that was great. Everyone will find me here on this channel for our vocalists, also somewhat soon for Expedition from the Mysterious Peaks, where we will be uh, doing some D and D slash slash Espergenesis stuff. It's going to be and great. You can also find me on my own channel when I stream there, which is not very often and on dungeon master direct where I run games and other places soon, maybe possibly. And that's me. Good stuff. Thank you, Zach. It was a great time tonight. As I said, uh, Rob and Russ both taking a step back for, the nonce, as my father used to say, uh, for the moment. Um, and so we had Cenevine, but we will be adding other folks in down the line. But that leads us up to Dot, who also got a chance to have, I think my favorite character from you has got to be Natalie. Like, I, you know, like <laughs> Tori's great, whatever. <laughs> the receptionist was also, well, although Kyung Yoon, you know, if Kyung Yoon had more lines, I think maybe. But Kyung Yoon was kind of like, started with everything and just kind of like, it's just a cat. He seems you know? like a bit of a one-dimensional rat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas, whereas you know, Natalie is kind of layers upon layers, so to speak. Um, so uh, there was all of that. So um, that was my favorite voice of yours. But um, the other thing I liked about this is that we got a chance for a good amount of voice work from everybody. So there was not like, watch something uh-huh. being played for a hundred, you know, an hour before anyone actually does right. anything. So um, how do you feel? I guess we already know how you felt about the game, Dot. Uh, you liked it, apparently, and which is good because yeah, I liked I it too. So thanks for the recommendation. It was a good one. Um, any other thoughts about the game and where will the lovely folks see you next? Um, well, friends, I'm Little Red Dot. You can find me online where Little Red Dots are found, uh, mostly with Cobalt Press, uh, my podcast network, Pod by Night, where we do dark tales using tabletop games and uh we just launched a new hunter the awakening game actually a little mini pod so if you want to check out the new world of darkness hunter game uh we're running a a nice little fun thing and our podcast just uh launched a twitch channel um and we've announced that we'll be at gen con this year doing a live show on the main stage so um we've got one of our cast members coming from the uk so we have a little ko-fi open right now to get josh over in something other than a box with holes so um (laughs) You know, if you're feeling salty and want to want to help a dot out, would appreciate it. And then, of course, um, I've officially been announced as the cruise planner or the event planner for the D3 at Sea Cruise, which is just what it sounds like. We're playing tabletop games on a cruise headed for the Bahamas in November. So if you want some more information, uh, let me know. Um, yeah, and I'll see if I can't get you hooked up and maybe even give you my affiliate code if you're interested in booking. Um, I know myself and Mark Meir are going to be on board. So it's Jason from Realmsmith. Uh, he's a pretty big deal is my understanding. Uh, and Critical Bard uh, have been announced as our GMs and we've got a few more coming down the pipeline. So um, some other really cool names. So, you know, no big deal. Come come take a cruise with Mark Meir and Critical Bard, y'all. <laughs> Please tell me there are going to be points where he comes up to your table. He's like, this is my favorite tabletop game on the cruise. And then just says that and then says that with every single table every um, time the, yeah mm-hmm. um it's actually i mean it's, it's actually a really cool experience one of the things i tell people is like of the seven days that we're on the cruise we only game about 10 hours one of which is a session zero so really it's like one game with the gm of your choice right so once you book you you get to pick the table you want to be at and they run you through like a little nine hour campaign or whatever but it's really about getting to like take a vacation with like some really sweet people from the industry which is really cool like who can say that like, oh, yeah, I just sat in a hot tub one night with Mark Muir. Yeah, you just know, hanging. Uh, you just know. hanging out. No big deal. Um, and there's some payment plan options for those of you that can't maybe do it all up front or whatever. There's um, Don, the man that runs the company, is really, really super wonderful. He's just like a gem of a human. So uh, we try to work with everybody that has interest. Um, yeah, and we've got some options, too. You know, if you run a company like a tabletop company or something you think is adjacent in some way. Um, We've got some options for companies as well to like help book uh, cabins or tickets and you get free tickets in exchange so that people from your company can come or you and uh, your friends can come. So there's 
we're out here working hard to make sure that anybody that wants to come, we can find ways to make that a reality for you. So um, keep your ear to the ground because we've we're also be announcing an April 2023 cruise as well that I'll be involved in. So yeah, um, that's that's that. Uh, oh, uh, for those of you in chat, if you want to check out Hunter, um, Pod by Night is what everything's going to be under. But the show, the name of the show is called Desperate Measures. That's our Hunter show. Uh, we're only two sessions in, so you're not that far behind. And our podcast edits down to one hour. It's like easy listening at lunch, baby. That's yeah, absolutely. And uh, Rising Tides points out to speculate our podcast count as a company. That's an interesting proposition. I wonder about whether any you know live podcast events on cruises sponsored by three semi-prominent authors in speculative fiction who are also all game masters and oh if you um, don't think i'm not working on a a writing literary cruise and you dot dot that got would be in the cruise si dot's well, got her hands in the cruise industry now and y'all don't even know that would be <laughs> sick well there well there's scalzi does this um oh god what is it the nerd cruise like the, the thing that's like uh oh, i can't remember the name of it it's like Nerd on on water, nerd wave, nerd I'd something. I don't remember what nerd it's called. Nerd on water. <laughs> nerd on water. But Scalzi always goes to part of it. But that's like a general thing, like um, the the bar, you know, the guys who do the singing um, about nerd stuff that are big friends with Penny Arcade. Um, and uh, oh, why can't I remember all these names? Anyway, um, but yeah, so, you know, hey, listen, if just, I'm just saying, you know, you, you if there's ever anything like that, like, you know, um, I'm we, just saying we can chat or, um, definitely <laughs> I'm, I'm working on a few, I've got a few things up my sleeve. Um, I think a cosplay cruise would be very, very cool. Uh, that's cool too. Oh, Joko cruise. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one I'm thinking jo about. Joko. Yeah. And you know, they even got things like if tabletop's not really your jam, but board games are, they've got a B3 at C, which is all board games for the, the week. So there's lots of ways to get involved. The company that, um, has been so wonderful, um, runs a few of these like events i just happen to obviously be on the tabletop one because duh so yeah because it yeah obviously um that's awesome but uh no i it, this was nice and this is one also i should say this is one of those games that like you just feel nice and comfortable like nice and comfy at the end of the night and so everyone's in a good mood but um dot continued success on everything obviously all super well deserved um oh, and you know what i should say this because i'm not sure zach did check us out on wednesday nights we we're in the middle of oh, an yeah. alien show right yep, now, yep, and yep. Zach is uh, it's in uh -huh. character, and so it's kicked back up. The third season of the Alien campaign is kind of coming to a nice full circle. That's right, but, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You can go to Unmade Gaming's YouTube channel, Unmade Gaming, um, and he has a whole playlist for you called the Dot Verse, which is my take on the unanswered questions of Ridley Scott's xeno verse yeah um, that's right so uh i've kind of written it's all original i'm not using any of their like planned modules for this so um this is kind of it's my love dope. letter to ridley scott uh, this whole dope. thing so i'm very excited that we're in the final phases of it but um you should come check it out zach plays two characters this season mm -hmm. oh yeah that's right and dot nobody knows more about this stuff in that regard than dot does and yeah wednesday night does not also conflict with it like we're very seldom on on wednesday night so yeah go you know you should go over yeah, there and, and i do eastern I do, I do go over there sometimes, actually, and I forgot that season three had started, so I needed to, because someone else here never actually mentioned it ever. In I did, I, no, I you, swear you did, I did. You did mention it, but you have not recently. So <laughs> yes, when I was like, yes, oh yes. yeah, season three. <laughs> anyway, it that's cool. It almost feels like a little bit like a home table for me, because I always GM for Unmade. Like Unmade's one of my mm -hmm. my best friends, and I'm always yeah. over there because you know, I've been running a Coriolis campaign, and that's now come to a close, and that crew is moving over to One Ring. Um, we haven't quite announced those dates yet, but y'all. If you don't think I am hella ready to wear a mustache and play a dwarf, you are kidding yourself. <laughs> uh, kidding yourself. I put out some cosplay pictures of the initial uh, character, but yeah, I'm I'm super stoked. But yeah, I, I do a lot of stuff over at Unmade, and this has been one he kind of gave me my free reign with Alien, and he was like, "Who do you want?" And I was like, "I want these people," um, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of grown into this huge thing, and people seem to really like it. So we're gonna we're gonna give you a third. Se we're in the middle of a third season right now, and hopefully gonna uh, wrap into a really interesting take on what yeah what's going on in this this Xenoverse. That's very cool, and I do occasionally check out uh, Academic Foxhole and you with um, uh, Divinity uh, once in a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, our morning that. divinity show. We're on a, a summer hiatus because we're both extraordinarily busy um, from that show. But the 
uh, City of Light and Shadow, which is the World War II campaign I do, where we right. play French Resistance, that's coming back in the fall on Friday night. So you can check nice. out the sixth season of that as well. We're out there just killing Nazis on Fridays, y'all. <laughs> mm-hmm. what, a, what better way to have a Friday Yeah, night? what better way to spend your Friday than killing Nazis? So. It's good stuff. Um, thank you very much, Dot, for that. And uh, Zach, as always, my friend, thank you as well. Um, chat, can we get some love for the amazing our vocalists who will return again next month? But until then, uh, everyone be good. Chat, give some love to them. And Dot and Zach, thank you both so, so much um, for everything. See y'all next month. Yep. Bye for now. Thanks, guys. All right, um, that was good stuff. That was that was really fun. I'm really glad we did that game. Uh, that was a game that was nice and chill. I mean, I've been enjoying Planescape Torment. Don't get me wrong, but uh, which is a tremendous game. But this was something where it was just just the right amount of chill, and I think it was a good way to kind of roll everything down. I know Garlic Tofu got a chance to kind of enjoy it because Torment definitely is is a lot. It's very much it's extra, um, and. Uh, Wait, 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 what is this? What is this? <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, snap. That is amazing. Look at that. Glofrim, daughter of glowing. Yup, you heard me. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. That is amazing stuff from Dot. That's awesome. That's badass. Um, good stuff. Thank you uh, so much to Dot and to Zach. And thank you all so much because we actually made um, Glorf- Glowfrim is pretty sweet. That's Glowfrim is, is yeah. The twin sister of Gimli. No, I mean, listen, that's, but I love the fact that it also is just like, you, you know, it's sort of half like, oh, are you going to be telling me? And the other half of it is just like, well, perhaps you see if there was to be something else, I'd be... I remember one time when I was in the wilds of India that I, it would be the other, the other way that, uh, that would be approached. Um, but that was a good time. Um, so thank you. Clearly jealous of the mustache. Well, right. Like, why would you ever, t- exactly. And, you know, Tari Tunes, we played Adventures of Middle Earth earlier today. And as always pointed out, mustaches, big part of female dwarves. Let's, let's be clear. You know, that's also the case. So let's just remember that. Um, it's funny, it's beautiful, and it's art, exactly. Um, yeah, Torment is great, um, and I definitely have been having fun with it, but it was just nice to have something real super chill that way, so, um, so I enjoy that. She's a blacksmith that only makes armor and shields, no weapons. (laughs) Good night, Dot, thank you for everything. And, uh, chat, great stuff from you, and we made, uh, we got up to 81.95. I will admit that earlier today, uh, I was a little worried, because we had kind of stalled out a little bit. Um, I felt, but, uh, we really, you know, pulled it together and ended up with a, you know, a a solid day. Um, and as long as we can continue to have days, um, that continue to build up like this, then we're going to be in good shape going down the line as we close in on, uh, you know, next, next sort of milestone that I'm looking for here is 10,000, um, hitting five figures. And then the next milestone after that is to hit 50% funding, which would be 12, five, and then just onward and upward. Right. So, um, that's what we want to do. We're, we're here and we're we're making it happen. So um, thank you all for having supported all day and being here for a bunch of really fun streams. Adventures Middle Earth was really good. Uh, the Talisman Adventures stream, we wrapped up the next part of that campaign, the second adventure of uh, the Briar Rose. And now we're into the Shifty Lad and the Servant's Coin, I think it is what it is. So that's going to be a good time uh, for Talisman Adventures. And we got a chance to play some more vocalists. So put that all together and you've got, you've got something great. So I am very, very excited for all of that. We are going to be off now for a couple of nights. We've been on for, I think we had one night that we were off, which is the one Sunday was supposed to have Sound Clash, but Brandon had some tech stuff. But now we're through that. Um, We had like five nights, like five out of six nights or four out of six nights, something like that. Now we're going to be off Wednesday, Thursday, but we'll be back on Friday for some D&D with viewers. And don't forget that uh, that will be definitely happening with Into the Unknown. That should be a good time with chat. And then Saturday, um, if all goes well, I'm getting this confirmed. It'll be our session zero of Expedition from the Mysterious Peaks. Now, as a reminder, I will not yet have my video for that. I won't have my overlays for that. That's why we're doing a session zero. Next month is going to be the full-out launch and everything. But if you want to say that you were there when it started, 
and you want to see what this new adventure is going to be, a world in which there is a combination of Espergenesis and D&D, in which it mixes space and fantasy, the spiritual sequel to Expedition to the Barrier Peaks, um, which is one of my favorite modules from a kid, uh, from when I was a kid, uh, just really, really cool stuff about spaceship stuff, and you'll see, it will really tie things in. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, no, we're we're... I felt very good about this late push that we had, so we'll just kind of keep it up. So all of that is um, all of that is really important. And again, for those of you who have already backed and supported, thank you. For those of you who haven't yet, please consider doing so. Um, Gray Shade uh, is something that's a labor of love for me. I think it's also a labor of love for everybody involved, and a, num a number of those people, of course, are in chat. Um, Garlic Tofu, uh, one of the major ones right now, but we have a lot of people from Tren um, who's involved, um, a lot of people who saw some versions of this as beta readers and or otherwise Marie and Brad uh, and things like that. We had a repost from Julie Chernada um, who posted about this, I should say, and a number of other folks like that. Um, Tari uh, today, of course, who did the design for the Norse Foundry coin. Um, we just had lots and lots of people who were involved one way or the other with this. And so there's a lot riding on it for a lot of people. And that's why we're really excited about it and proud of it and hope that we can continue to push on it. So um, we'll keep making it. We're going to keep making it happen. But I was very happy to see that close to the day. That was good stuff. So, um, but that's going to do it for me for the next couple of days. We will be back on Friday again with some D&D &D with viewers. Uh, if you like what you saw and heard, I hope you will follow the channel. That's right. Mysterious, exactly right, Triffid. Mysterious Peaks is kind of the sequel to the Espergenesis campaign, although it'll take a while to see how they tie in but they may very well do so, he said, without wanting to spoil anything. But yes, you may have picked up on that a little bit, um, that there is a, a kind of connection between them. I'm actually very excited about Expedition for the Mysterious Peaks. I love those kinds of mashups. It's got a very Final Fantasy VII kind of magtech sort of feel to it as well. And I, I don't know, it's just, it's going to be cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But so that's going to be happening over the weekend. But first, of course, we've got a couple of days to go through where I'm going to be getting caught up on a little bit of work and uh, doing a bit of reading and all that. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to be hanging with my son for quite a bit because tomorrow is my son's last day of school. Tomorrow is his last day of kindergarten, everyone. Mini Arv starts first grade in the fall. What the frickin' frickety frick? Like, really, I can't even, like, good gravy. So, yeah, first grade, he starts in the fall. Um, and obviously, you know, the little Arv you got a chance to see is starting high school in the fall. It's just... It's going to be great. So um, I am very, very uh, excited to see how things happen with them. It's going to be awesome. So, um, But uh, if you like what you saw and heard tonight, please follow the channel. Check out the YouTube with exclamation point R of tube, the Discord with exclamation point R of cord, the Twitter with exclamation point R of tweets, the website with arvanelleron.com, financially exclamation point R of shop for the merchandise area, exclamation point R of Treon for the Patreon. Please make sure to follow the channel. I already said that. Uh, exclamation point Icarus for my Icarus graphic novel from Mathis Arts exclamation point library for my he's not a baby i know for my um exclamation point library for my tales and tomes from the forbidden library from alligator alley entertainment my 5e adventure and source book and of course i'll come back to that in a minute exclamation point blm black lives matter very important always to affirm and assert the significance and importance of black lives exclamation point help now the world health organization page on suicide prevention very important to reach out to others when you need help to reach out to others when they need help as well and exclamation point of course ukraine u-k-r-a-i-n-e um, fighting back against an illegal and illegitimate and devastating war and we're doing so in the ways that we think we can right here in a small way but in a meaningful way because all of us are trying to step up and do that to the extent that we can and of course most importantly um i shouldn't say most importantly over those things those things i just said including ukraine help not blm those are the most important but most important from a channel slash my writing perspective uh is exclamation point gray shade ks so thank you so so much hey that was a great announcement that's the perfect time to do that thank you Brent. And, um, the Gray Shade Kickstarter, thank you for so much. You folks came through, uh, like I said, in spades, and I always can rely on the Arvanauts to come together to help in this way. So you folks really did a great job. And as Brandon said, if 
if you are just able to spread the word by, again, retweeting and especially adding a line to it. So it's a quote tweet, not a retweet. That really helps. Um, and also leaving comments on the Kickstarter. If you did back the Kickstarter, leaving a comment if you haven't done so already and talking about that really helps. And of course, spreading the word with hashtag Gray Assassin. Not in a spammy way, just in a, oh, you know, like there's this small little forum like in my hometown, like this message board where people talk about tabletop or whatever, or, oh yeah, I am on this like Goodreads forum where like I hang out and talk about fantasy. Like anything like that sort of thing is very valuable. Anything which is beyond my reach, my immediate reach, because I'm only one guy. I can only do so much. Garlic Tofu is only one person. Athis Arts is only one press. Alligator Alley is only one press. All these folks, including Rising Ties, who of course was very involved in this book, all of these folks are only individual people. It's only when our voices are combined by our powers combined that we become uh, Captain Planet. But it's only by our powers combined that we can actually do this. And yes, there is a gray shade novelette now in update number five that I just provided uh, because we passed 100 backers. So um, our next milestone is going to be 350 backers. Again, a small amount can help us get to that number, but also, of course, doing that plus building that cash number. Combine those things together and we're really going to be moving in the right in the right way. So Thank you all so much for being a part of this. Thank you all for being awesome. And let's keep at it. Exclamation point. Gray shade K S. That is going to do it for me for tonight. No raid today, only because we've been here a lot and I want to send people somewhere else again. We will do a raid, though, on Friday night, I believe. Um, and uh, otherwise, I will catch you folks around. Thank you so much for being a part of this as always. Thank you as always to my wonderful mods, Rudinel, Dragonspear, Garlic Tofu, Rock God, Trifity Mets, and the Rising Ties. They are the best in the business, as I've said. Thank you so much to my wonderful uh, subscribers and Patreon supporters, too. Rudinel, Dragonspear, Garlic Tofu, Rock God, Trivity Mats, The Rising Ties, Wispy Song, Crit Twitch, and Mrs. Dunsel. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, oh, thank you, Wispy. Thank you, I appreciate it. You heard my voice the whole way? Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I like that prequel story. I actually wrote that for something totally different, but it was using Grayshade. It was always a Grayshade prequel story, but originally it was going to be in a collection about demons and stuff like that, and then the collection didn't really work. But this was something where I was like, well, I mean, it makes sense to use it for this. So um, thank you. I'm glad that you like it, and hopefully you will like the novel Grayshade and Renegade and Heretic in this Kickstarter as well once we get it funded. Thank you to my wonderful viewers. Thank you to... Uh, uh, Oli Ivana, thank you to 420. Thank you to Asim Kakasa. Thank you to Erica. Thank you to Funkmaster Mike. Thank you to Kuki Kanuck. What's up, Kuki? Thank you to La Kaylee. Thank you to Nonstop, who is a definite sub. So I don't know why he's showing up down there. Thank you to Shanula. Thank you to Sophia Fox. And of course, Stalio. Thank you all so much for being here. And thanks for the continued support of the Kickstarter. I will catch all of you lovely folks on the flip side. Until I see you folks for Friday evening for a little bit of uh, D&D with viewers. Everyone have a good couple of days. Spread the word about Kickstarter. And um, I hope you enjoy the moment. And you're there for a pause before the next game. Maybe cat catch your tongue? Okay, bye. Honk.